Hello and welcome back. In today's session, we are going to create an Amazon Open Search domain and access the dashboard using a proxy API. As the name suggests, Open Search is an open source search product and AWS offers this as a service. It's a very helpful service in searching, aggregating, or analyzing large volumes of data. This is what we are going to build today. Open Search domain within a VPC across multiple availability zones. As it is inside a VPC, it's not possible to access it from outside the world. So we are going to set up a proxy API using Lambda and API Gateway to access the dashboard. Let's get started. Okay, so we are in the AWS console now. First, let's start by creating the base infrastructure. So we are going to provision a VPC along with some few underlying components. So I'm going to select VPC and more option here and leave the auto generated values of name tag as well as CIDI blocks there. And I'm going to go with two availability zones, but no public subnets, just the private subnets, selecting two private subnets. And we don't need any NAT gateways or VPC endpoints for this. Let's create the VPC. Right, so this will go ahead and provision all the required components for us. VPC, the subnet, along with the route table. And one addition thing that we have to do is create an internet gateway and attach it to those VPC. So let's go ahead and do that now. So select internet gateway and create an internet gateway. You can give, give it any name. And once you have created the internet gateway, you can attach it to the VPC that we just created. So this is to allow internet access from your VPC. All right, and the final step in uh, infrastructure is to create a uh, security group. We have to create two security groups. One security group will be for the Lambda. So that is what we are creating now. And this should allow HTTPS access, the outbound HTTPS access. So make sure that you're putting it in the right uh, VPC. And instead of allowing all, tra all outbound traffic, you can just choose HTTPS because that is what we are looking for. Right, and open it to the world. So this security group is going to be attached to the Lambda. And we, we need one more security group. And this one is going to be attached to the open search domain. So let's create another security group. And this security group should allow just the inbound access and the same HTTPS protocol. Uh, but it doesn't have to be from the world. Instead, it has to be just from the Lambda because as it is in the private uh, subnet, we will not be able to access it directly. So that's why we are provisioning a Lambda. And then from the Lambda, we are going to access the domain. Right, select HTTPS. And uh, within this, you're going to select the Lambda security group. All right, and we don't need any outbound rules. So I'm going to delete the outbound rule and create the security group. So with this, we are done with the uh, base infrastructure creation and we can move on to the next step of provisioning the uh, open search domain itself. So select uh, the open search service and this is the open search dashboard that you'll be seeing. And here you can create a domain. So you can give any domain name. Uh, for this demo purpose, I'm selecting as project domain. And if you want, you can enable custom uh, endpoint as well. And you have different deployment options. I'm going to choose uh, development and testing. And I'm going to leave it with the latest version. Even though I'm selecting the development testing mode, I'm going to choose all the other options as similar to how you will deploy it in a production environment. So you can follow the same steps. And in availability zones, again, I'm going to just select 
uh, one single availability zone but while doing it in production you will be doing uh, three availability zones you can choose an instance type and then as we are deploying in a single availability zone I'm just choosing one node in production environment you can minimum have three nodes and depending on your usage you can increase the number of nodes right and this is very important in the network it's not recommended to put it in public access because everyone will be able to access your uh, your domain so i'm going to make it as vpc access and select the vpc that we just created and choose the subnet and choose the correct security group then we need not uh, enable a fine grained access so i'm going to disable it and the rest of the settings can be left as default and let's create the domain and the domain creation itself will take anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes uh, depending on the complexity of the domain so while the domain is being created let's go ahead and provision the lambda and api gateway all right so before creating the lambda itself we have to create the lambda execution role because it requires few uh, special permissions so i'm going to create a separate role so uh, choose aws service and lambda as the use case and next and we have to create a policy so i have given the policy json in the github repository so please go ahead and copy that uh, i'll leave the link of this in the description below so you can copy this proxy lambda uh, json policy and then paste it over here and the only thing that you have to change is the account id um, replace those account id with your actual account id and this allows your lambda to access the elasticsearch index as well as to create the cloudwatch logs right so let's create this policy and we can go back to the role and attach this policy so i'm giving the policy a name then let's go back to the role and attach the policy again you need to give the role name as well and the lambda which you are going to create will assume this role while executing all right so we have the role provisioned the next step is to create the lambda so let's get into the lambda console and for this i'm going to create a python function so author from scratch and give it a function name i'm just going to call it as project lambda just for consistency and select python 3.8 if you are using a different version then the packages will differ so you can change the packages that are used in the uh, zip file that i'm providing and use a different version or convert it feel free to convert it to a different different language as well and the main thing is you have to pro put this lambda in the same vpc as the open search domain only then it will be able to access the uh, domain so i am selecting the same vpc and the subnets as well as this time i am going to select the lambda security group so we have the outbound access already enabled and let's create the function so once you have the function created it's time to upload the uh, code so you can choose upload from and a zip file and this zip file is also there in the git repository so select that uh, zip file and upload it here this will take a couple of minutes again because the file size is about 9 mb uh, the reason for 9 mb file size is because of the additional packages that has to go in all right uh, so we have the lambda created now 
we have to do a couple of configuration changes but that can be done only after provisioning the open search domain so for now we can switch to api gateway and create the api gateway api first and then come back to lambda again right so for this uh, demo we are going to use rest api and let's create a new api uh, let's not go with the example api one uh, we are going to provision a new api and you can choose any api name and then create the api and uh, within this api you have to create a resource and this resource will redirect your request to your uh, actual lambda so i'm going to just allow all the requests redirected to that single lambda so for that you can just specify the rejects of proxy plus and that will just redirect all your requests to that particular lambda right so the path is going to be uh, just a rejects expression and then create the resource and here you're going to select the lambda function that we just created all right and save it so this will automatically add the permission for the to invoke the lambda function so accept that and you can see that there is a method request created and that is getting integrated with your lambda and it will send back the information to the client all right and now we have the api created so we have to deploy it so let's deploy it to a stage and we have to create a new stage and you can name this anything for demo purposes i'm going to call this as dev and deploy the api all right so we have our api gateway endpoint available as well so now let's go back and check what's happening with our uh, open search domain so it's still creating it's almost 50 percent so i'm going to pause the video and come back okay it's been a while and we have our domain created as you can see there will be domain urls attached and you can try accessing them but you will not be able to access them because it's within a vpc so that's the reason we have uh, gone in and created the lambda as well as api gateway and stuff so now for the lambda to access this domain we have already given access through the uh, roles but then here we have to change the access policy which is attached to the uh, open search domain and the access policy is also available in that github repository so it's this is just going to allow the lambda to access the lambda role to access the domain so make sure uh, that you are replacing the account id as well as the role name within the policy document and save it again this will take again a couple of minutes to get updated and once that is updated the final step in the configuration is to update few things in the project lambda environment variables so we are getting into lambda and then within configuration if you go into environment variables you have to add two environment variables here one is the uh, open search host so copy the host within the open search open search domain and paste it here and the next is the api stage uh, the stage which we gave here is dev so mention that and finally you have to update the timeout so by default lambda timeout is three seconds let's change it to 30 seconds because uh, there will be multiple api calls happening to open search domain so we don't want the lambda to timeout all right uh, so we are done with the lambda configuration as well so everything is set uh, we have our elasticsearch uh, sorry open search domain as well as the lambda and api gateway provisioned now if you try to access it through the api gateway endpoint you should be able to see the open search dashboard and you should be able to run all your 
open search uh, queries all right so now you can see it's just uh, you just have one index you can keep adding index or you can search through the index and create data and stuff so hope you found this session helpful if you have any questions related to open search or the setup please leave them in the comments below see you soon in the next video where we will try to push some data from dynamodb into open search and see to how we can access that data Thank you.